good evening everybody and once again welcome back to the channel in today's video we are gonna do a hands-on exercise with apache hoodie using postgres as a hive meta store our object store is gonna be min io and then we're gonna query this data using star rocks so without wasting any further time let's get started before i begin the hands-on lab i just wanted to make sure i show you this linkedin blog this has all the steps and explanation in case if you miss out on any steps on the video please check my linkedin blog all right so now let's get started so the first step is basically you need to go to my github and clone the repository on your local machine and for this uh, demo if you want to do the hands-on lab you would need docker installed on your computer so let's let's get started right so again in this project directory there's a file called docker compose.yml and this Docker Compose will spin up all the resources for us. For example, it's gonna spin up Star Rocks FE, BE. It's gonna spin up Postgres, which is gonna be used as a Hive Metastore. It's gonna, you know, then spin up a Hive Metastore container. It's gonna then spin up a MinIO container. So uh, again, all the items that we need for this lab uh, will be spinned up using uh, the Docker Compose command, okay? So now uh, we have reviewed this. Now let's go to terminal and say Docker and then do compose up hyphen hyphen build minus d minus d stands for detach which means i want to run all the containers in the background as you can see all these containers have been started now usually it takes about a couple of seconds to start so give it a couple of seconds and then we're gonna take a look at the next step all right so hopefully your containers have been started and now we'll proceed to step number two which is we need to create a minio bucket so open up uh, google chrome or whatever browser you like and go to localhost uh, 9000 okay and then hit enter uh, so the username is going to be admin and the password is going to be password okay so put this one over here and click on login and here you can see i see the minio dashboard which is extremely beautiful and now click here click on create bucket and let's create a bucket called hoodie test i'm gonna click on create bucket so now i do have an s3 bucket that i can play with the next step is now we will insert some data into hoodie transactional data lake which is uh, the object store is on minio which is an open source again so let's review the code the python code that we are going to use again it's very straightforward hopefully it will make sense again here i'm just defining all the imports uh, here i'm defining the spark version and the hoodie version 3.4 goes very well with 0 0.14 here you can see i built my spark session and then here I set a couple of environment variables. Again, since I'm using Minio on the Docker container, right? I'm setting up the access key, the secret key, and all these variables, okay, over here. After that, we have a function which will generate some fake data using a library called Faker, okay? And then here we create the Spark data frame object, as you can see on line 69. And then at the end, I have a simple function which will insert data into Hoodie Transactional Data Lake. Now observe the path over here. It starts with the word S3A, and this is the Minio bucket that we created, okay? And these are the Huri settings. Uh, we are defining the table name. The method is gonna be upsert. We define the record key, the precom key, the partition, right? And here we are using uh, Postgres as a, a, as a Hive Metastore, and hence we are providing the thrift URL. Again, this is running locally, right? So if you go to your Docker, right? It's your containers are running, right? So hopefully that made sense. And then at the end, we just write the data into Hoodie Transactional Data Lake. So I expect uh, you know to see a table called customers uh, on the database called default, okay? So what we will do is I'm gonna right click over here and I would run the Python file. Again, this Python should work out of the box if you're running it on your computer. So now it's gonna create a Spark session, then it's gonna basically uh, create a Spark data frame, and then it's gonna perform an upsert on a Hoodie Transactional Data Lake, which is on MinIO. All right, so it's running, as you can see. So let's wait for a couple of more seconds. Again, these are the best way to learn stuff, right? So I think uh, it was successful. I see the Spark data frame. And now if I go to MinIO, and if I go to object browser and I click on hoodie test and hey, look, you got our hoodie transaction data like, right? You have your partitions, which is in a hive style format. You have your hoodie metadata and your parquet files. So, so great, right? So we got the, you know, stack up. We created a hoodie transaction data like. Now let's review the star rocks part. Now how you can query this data using star rock. So now we will learn how to query this data using star rocks, okay? 
so what I'll do is I'll share my screen. Uh, first of all, open your Docker desktop. You can also use terminal, but I like to use Docker desktop. It's a bit easy. You see this container called Star Rocks FE. You want to click on that. Click on the word exec. Okay. And once you see that, I'll zoom in as much as I can. You want to put this command mysql minus p port is going to be 9030 minus h stands for host. It's going to be 127.0.0.1. Username is going to be root and we're going to simply hit enter. And here you can see we see the star rock uh, shell. Okay. Now, what we will do is we need to create a, a, an external catalog. So we can query our Houdini transactional data like through star rocks, right? So over here, we use the word create external catalog. We're going to name it as hoodie catalog HMS. Type is going to be hoodie. You know, we're going to provide all the details such as the Hive meta store, right? Uh, here you can see the thrift server URL. Again, since it's running uh, on Docker, we use the host name, okay? Uh, if it was running on your computer, you would have used localhost or 0.0.0.0, .0 right? Hopefully made sense. And then just some basic settings, right? We use, uh, we define the region where our buckets are. This is in US East 1. We define the S3 access key and the secret key. So basically all the information we define it here. So let's see. All right, we copy this. Head over to my, uh, over here. Hopefully this is visible, right? Uh, click here. And as you can see, we said query, okay, right? Now we will basically set the catalog to hoodie catalog HMS, the one that we just created. As you can see, that's done, okay? Now we're gonna do show databases. So I should see my default database, right? As you can see, I see my default one, the one that we ran our Python job, right? And we are using Hive Sync tool to, you know, sync that to our Postgres as a Hive meta store, right? So that's that. Now we're gonna say, hey, I'm interested to use the default database. I'm gonna say use default over here. And I got success there as well. Now you can do show tables. So you're gonna see all the tables in that particular um, database. So here we can see, we see our customer uh, table. Again, it's also there on our Minio object store, right? And then I can run the query, right? Select star from customers, I can run it. And of course, uh, you know, I will query my Houdini transaction later like, and I'll get the results in the output, as you can see. Now, the beautiful thing about Starrox is it does cache the data as well. So now, if I run this right now again, it will be much more faster, watch. Look, 0 0.11 seconds. Look, 0 0.10 seconds, right? So you see, right? Um, so hopefully you got the big picture. Hopefully you will do these labs on your computer. Hopefully you enjoy learning about Hoodie. Hopefully you learn about Minio and Star Rocks, right? So I have a blog on LinkedIn. If it, in case you, I miss out any steps on the video, go ahead and watch the video. And if you have any other question, please do not hesitate to comment on this video or on the blog. Uh, if I don't know, I'll ask someone, I'll learn myself and probably get back to you as soon as possible. With that being said, keep smiling, keep programming and I'll see you guys in the next video.